<laughs> see, look, see those back legs? If you don't, if you don't strengthen them correctly, you have a problem. Oh. See, look. So even when you're jumping, lead him with it so he jumps at an angle. See, I want him. Oh. I want him on all fours so that the weight. Guys, t -Fit here, Fit Bully TV. We're gonna talk a little bit about how to play with your dog and keep your dog safe. Look, TLPL surgeries, ACL surgery, CCL disease, all those things are real things. Look at Tron. Tron, we can count on you to do one thing, man. One thing and one thing only. And he's gonna, he's gonna, he gonna boo-boo now. That boy gonna boo-boo. So, a couple things that I would focus on if I have a large breed dog. I don't know if that a lot of small breeds tear their little ACLs and them little elbows they got. What I do know is that I've paid upwards of $8,000 because a dog hit a hole funny. And when I say funny, you go, it can't be. Boom, $4,000. Then, Zara, kid you not, we didn't do nothing crazy. I took her on a walk because I go, let me work her back into getting her active. On a walk after having some pups, boom, knee was like limping. Gave it a few days, she put a little pressure on it, went out, we did a little light work, and then guess what? Now that thing was like hanging, dangling. No go, got an x-ray done. He says, yep, it's torn, it's torn. Thing is, you need to make sure you get a great orthopedic surgeon. So let's talk a little bit about the dog's hips today. Tron, get off my stuff, grab him. Come here, boy. So, he's going to stack him up and hold him. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta hold him, boy, there you go. Now, what we wanna do is look at where his hips are at. You see, this is the dog's hips, right? Hold that joker, you know he's... This is the dog's hips. You see where his legs are at? There is constant strain being put on the air. You can let him go. There's constant strain technically be putting, be, being put on that area. Here's the challenge. How do you relieve, hey, get down. How do you alleviate strain on the hips? Well, in this case, by design, a dog's hips, you can't do it. So for instance, I'm gonna show you guys something because you know, I'm a little bit into the fitness world. You see where my knees are at? Where my knees are at, try to move. <coughs> where my knees are at, when I get up, my knees are gonna become a mover. Do you know what a mover is? Look at that. See how much those knees move on the way up and on the way down? What that means is, imagine a hinge on a door. What happens when a hinge starts moving? Again, a hinge lets the door open, close, open, close. If the hinge in the middle of the door, that, pl that part that does this, starts moving, the door stops working. If you keep using your knees as a human to get up and sit down, you hear noise, you hear crackling, you create inflammation, you got problems. Next thing you know, you gotta have a scope. Translating this to the dog, the minute I did this, boom. Now, ooh, everything popped because of them, them joints. But the minute I do this, now look, my knees are not movers, they're, my muscles are. Muscle move bone, joints allow movement. Muscle stabilize joints. In the middle of the knee, it's all white. If you look up the knee, anatomy of the knee, you see white. Cartilage, ligaments, and tendons have no blood vessels. Which means you can't do what? They don't repair well. They don't grow well. And as you get older, chondrocytes diminish. And what that just means in the dog space, it's as hard for the cartilage to stay healthy unless you're doing what? Using a hip and joint supplement. Which is why, again, I didn't know how important this was, and I have to keep repeating that. But what did I think? Fortified, because you want to fortify those those joints. You see how unfortified this thing is leaning. If we not bumping this thing the wrong way, it's gonna cut, it's gonna key lapse. <laughs> so when we started this, I said I want to make sure I get the ratios right because beyond a reasonable doubt. German Shepherd's legs grow at a different rate. Basset Hound's legs grow at a different rate, different rate. I'm not so pressed or concerned with the bully because we about to get us all some more dogs and they're not gonna be bully related and every dog has its challenges, issues, and even more importantly, opportunities to be better. So, when playing with your dog, Tron, you can get him up here, get him up on these tires. Tron, let's go. Mm -hmm. hey, boy. <laughs> Two things you wanna manage. Is him landing? Let's go. There we go. <laughs> come on. Look at your boy. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Put it like this. Come on. 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 Come on.
Over here now, man. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. My point is, I just want to show you, look, Tron is getting there. He's getting more confidence. And you got to protect the landing. When a dog jumps like our dog jumps and lands in the back of those hips, that's his back. Lord, it's the same thing for humans. When if somebody lands straight leg, boom. Knees. What does the meniscus do? Absorb the pressure between the femur and tibia. Lower back. Ah, I feel all that shock. And then it goes all the way to my neck. Because I'm getting old. I hit the ground. It's like a truck hitting the ground. So you got to protect and preserve. Protect and preserve. And preservation is key. So when training your dog, teaching your dog, teach them. I wish I could teach them how to land like a cat. But that comes later. So for now, you do some fortify. Educate yourself on the hips. Hips, 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 hips. Start learning about joints. Study the anatomy. Know your breed. Know what's in your dog, especially if you're breeding the American Bully or have one, because all things are different when it comes to the American Bully. It takes a lot of work to sustain these dogs long term over however many years, hopefully they're alive. I'm hoping that Tron's around for about 15. The goal is to make sure he's not creeping. We demand a lot out of Tron, and it's our job to keep him motivated. And the only way to motivate him, look, see, there he goes, landing in the back leg. Stay right there, stay right there. Just let him jump a little bit. <laughs> See, look. See those back legs? If you, don't, if you don't strengthen them correctly, you have a problem. See, look. So even when you're jumping, lead him with it so he jumps at an angle. See? I want him... I want him on all fours so that the weight is evenly distributed. And when you land, even as a human, when you come off a dunk or something, boom! And I'm gonna do a video, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna get back to it. I probably could get up there, if Jack was here, I'd probably have him throw me a little oop. Get up there, I know I can fly high enough <laughs> to put the ball in. But when you land, you wanna boom, boom, it's hips. If you don't land in your hips, your knees, your ankles, and your lower back will absorb the shock. Our job is to protect these dogs because we want them to do some good work. And the only way to get them to do some work is to make sure we don't tear them knees up. <sighs> Preventing is progressing, people. Stay tuned. Take care of your dogs. Shout out to my boy, Tron, because he's coming along. We're watching him grow. Stay tuned and keep having a good time. Work.